Well, and people thought that was a good idea. It started very slow, 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 yeah. slow, and gradually it became overwhelming. Overwhelming. Irving, so wasn't also the practical idea that different people had different openings? And yes. Say, Let's put the openings together. The openings. So it's a, the on a Monday night. night. Exactly. Monday night the opening. Sense. Right. Exactly. You get, it makes well, sense. Of you get motivated people. Now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going yeah. yeah. for a show. For a show, not, to, not see four shows. Last night. Right. So it was the openings. Exactly. So are, the dealers were very practical about that. Yeah. Well, of course, now you have that in, in Chinatown. Does that for the under thirty? Uh, on, on the weekend, I think. Saturday, Saturday night. Saturday, Saturday night. night. I mean, but yeah. but one one. One Saturday a month. Yeah. Was, kind of, was it one Monday a month? It was one Monday every month. Yeah. It wasn't every Monday. It was no, no. no. It was no. One, Monday one Monday a month. A month. Yeah. But these took on a life of their own. And of course, what you're saying is they didn't really help you either financially or in terms no, of. No, in a word, they became carnival like. Yeah. And they and they ruined stuff, you know. The and they ruined stuff. You have 200 people come in the gallery. You know, and people would just shoot. bang up against paintings. That's right. Yeah. And it, it just I couldn't I couldn't bear it. It's it's a nice idea. Idea. It wasn't very practical. Yeah. 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 But I mean, that's adding insult to injury. It happened in Soho and in Chelsea. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the East Village. Remember that scene? Sure. That was Whoa. fantastic. Well, gave them some publicity they needed. Yeah, East Village, so yeah. it helped in that. So it helped that way. But as Irving said, that, that it, re it reached a crescendo to a point where they literally closed down the street. That's right. They put up That's police exactly mansions right. at uh, Melrose. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. To, to Santa Monica. To Santa Monica. So, yeah. so it became like a street fair. It yeah. became like a street fair, which is the last thing you wanted. <laughs> you know, that, I left just in time. You know, two very really important good. people that yes. were yes. here yes. are Nico yes. Wilder <laughs> and Rico Mitsuno. Mm, yes. Who was a great dealer? Oh, well, uh, you and seen Virginia Butler before, uh, before and that. Virginia Butler, when well, they were together to begin well, with. Well, yeah, but Virginia started it. Yeah. I remember oh. sitting in my gallery and smelling something. And I went ahead and did whatever I was doing. I can't remember exactly the year. And it became more intense. And it became more intense, so much so that I couldn't imagine what had happened to Seward, one thing or another. And I walked out and followed the scent down the street to, to Eugenia Eugenius. Butler. And Eugenia <laughs> oh, Butler had Dita Rose. about Dita Rose. 40 oh. leather suitcases oh. lining the center of the gallery oh. full of cheese. <laughs> Rotten cheese. And the cheese was rotting. It was rotting. Rotting. Was that, that a big cheese rotten. show? That was a yes. big cheese show. <laughs> And I couldn't, I, I mean, I saw it from the outside, I couldn't walk into the space. I and saw so Dita Rose And she's that. sitting in there smiling. <laughs> no, she was found And I felt stronger than I am. I saw <laughs> Dita Rose after that, and I saw where he had done this stove full of bittersweet chocolate. Right. I said, that's how you treat L.A. You spent a rotten <laughs> Rotten <laughs> Bittersweet chocolate. It was incredible. It was a turn on. What's and next? Rock for that? Yeah, when they dealt with L.A. <laughs> The other person we forgot, forgot who was... She, I think she did work with for Virginia while. for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's her name? Eugenia Butler. Eugenia Butler. She worked for a short time. Yeah. Right. She, was, she was amazing. I thought she was maybe a co -host. She showed Keaton. Yeah. yeah. The other person we've left out is Felix Landau with, uh, with Peter Volkholz, Klimt, Sheila, right. Sheila uh, a lot of good things. Yeah, he showed her yeah. before. We took Irwin from Felix. You know what he was doing? He was doing seascapes. Bob Irwin. <laughs> Walter said to me, we have to look at the sky. And I looked at it. And I said, why do we have to look at it? And he said, he's interesting to talk to. Yeah, that's right. And he was very insistent. And we did it for that reason. Because otherwise, the seascapes were ordinary. But he changed overnight. He changed overnight. Oh, he changed almost immediately. And that's all he's ever done was his challenge. And that sort of that intense interaction oh, yeah. between the artists and between, I mean, one thing I think Irving said at one point was that there wasn't much money or anything, uh, no money, yeah. but an incredible intimacy yes. between the artists and between even the yeah. a dealer and their artists. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. You were talking about the co-op gallery, wasn't that? A desperation. It was a co-op gallery. Yeah. It was, essentially. I mean, the artist had something to say about who came in and the other Absolutely, thing. absolutely, and, and about how things should proceed. Very but uh, I think a lot of the artists feel very nostalgic about the fact that that was lost. 
sure. what was like. Pasca moment. A kind of intimacy that was there at the beginning. Right. Inevitably, yeah. had, had to be lost. Sure. That's a childhood. Well, somebody names and then other somebody else gets yelled at them. And Moses came to the gallery and said, you know, the reason the East Coast people are doing better than we are uh, has a lot to do with your attention. I said, nothing else? I said, do you think it just has to do with my attention? He said, I really think that. No, I think so. You know that you're so, too yeah. late to And so I thought, my time here is limited. Two other people we left out, but it's, uh, we're going in a different direction. The way that we met the art world was through Sid Felsen thought he went to high school and it's a whole other story to Fairfax High with Wally Berman. So we met Wally in the 50s. Sure. Yeah. And so Wally and John Altoon yeah. Well, two of them that were the soul of our art, artist community. Here, no, no, they no are question. both the soul, yeah, yeah. and <laughs> both of them died young. Uh, yeah, well, two 43, and, and Wally, it's his 50th yeah. birthday. They, 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 they were both completely charismatic. Charismatic yeah. and, and really affected the, just like John Cage affected the art community uh, in that way, or, or Duchamp. Really? Uh, those two locally, I think, were the two that are And, and Wally, know. in his little house in Topanga, Wally yeah. Berman's house yeah. was the way station for the whole beat generation. Yeah, we did a whole one of these just on Wally. Yeah. And yeah. Very often, more, more, more often than, than, more than, than, than not, under his kitchen you table, you would find Walter. And he gave a picnic party. And what I desperately needed him, I'd drive out to Topanga at any time of day or night. At any time. Or not. Which, yeah. Slightly Bill. Bill was the Bill was the young. I'll tell you an art dealer story, tell you how hard it is to sell major work in those days. I had a, a nice uh, Jasper Johns uh, numerals. Uh, or it was alphabet or numerals, but it was a small version. And, a, and a, I think it was called Gray Rumor, Numerals or something. And Sydney consigned it to me. And uh, I, I made a sale to Bill James. Yeah. And the boss really proud. I called Leo, told him, it was a big time thing for me. Actual sale, real <laughs> collector. <laughs> so I wrote it up and uh, I wasn't doing well, but I, I, I drove Joni's Jaguar. She had a Jaguar. Mm -hmm. And uh, they had a slant back, you know, a hatchback. I put the painting in the back and I wrote it to Bill Chance's house. And, Palm, Palm Springs, mm -hmm. and it's a long drive, and a hot day, and I'm uh, driving along, and I get there, and I open the uh, hatchback, and I look at the painting, and something isn't right, because oh it, it looks to me like it's melting, <laughs> and then oh I said, my God, it was, it was wax. It's a, it cost it, it cost so, it. so I, I quickly, I closed the hood, <laughs> and went into a freezer. Turned the air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go leave the car running, and I go knock on the door, and Bill comes to the door. He says, "Oh, Edward, Tanner, how do you wait to see my painting?" I said, "Well, I'm very thirsty, Bill. Could I have one of your famous mixes of grapefruit juice and, and soda water?" He said, "Yes." So he brings me one. I drink it very, very slowly. Talk and talk. And then I said, "You know, I'm so dried out. Could I have another one?" So he gives me another one. It's starting to get nasty. It's 20 minutes later now. So I have to go back and I open the hatch back and I grab the painting and I tilt it and nothing ran. I took it into the house which was air conditioning. I gradually put it to the vertical position and it was right back where it was. <laughs> <laughs> did, you ever Save. Tell, did you ever tell Jasper that story? No. Uh, no. I've the, never told anybody. The, mel uh, the melting jobs. The melting jobs. <laughs> the melting jobs. But you know, somebody was watching over me. I think it was the fact that I do have an engineering degree from Michigan, a mechanical engineer. Well, that helped. And I taught thermodynamics there. Uh, and that's what I called upon to resuscitate this <laughs> work. Thank you. So, there we are. There we are. Not just another day in the life of a young Well, we started on critics. And we, we were going to talk about art form and Henry Henry Seldes and just I mean to me one of the we'll, we'll go on from this one of the saddest things about LA is how the lack of seriousness that the LA Times has treated art yeah from the beginning it goes yeah. till not today, today. 
Yeah. Oh, no, it's still. Today is fantastic. Not like the New York Times do, does nothing but spend time trying to hire all those writers yeah. and get them in New York, get them away. They just got the architectural writer. Yeah, he's very good. He was very good. Yeah. He was very good. But Christopher were... Knight isn't good. No, terrible. No, no. I think he's brilliant. He's Besides brilliant. the writing, they don't get the either. copy to it. You don't no. get the, the ink. You no. don't get the space. You don't, you don't now get you get space. big color pictures besides. Well, but you have, to, you have to remember that Los Angeles whatever you're saying. Los Angeles was one of the few cities that actually had an art critic. Yeah. New York Times, obviously, Chicago. In San Francisco? Yeah. Uh, San Francisco, yes. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. But uh, in a lot of cities like Washington and Houston and Dallas and, and so on and so on, they just used their regular online people to do art criticism. So at least we had that. The other thing is that the criticism was terribly conservative in the yes. case of Henry Celsus and Ben Wilson and, well, and, and Bill and Wilson, and Bill too, Wilson who followed him and went conservative and chatty, you know, very, very chatty. Yeah. Uh, I think that, uh, that for all of this stuff about Chris Knight, uh, I don't agree with Chris maybe once out of every ten times, but I like the way he writes. I yes, he's always like he's a good writer. And, uh, and so I think that probably that's it, but, I, but to follow your point, which is even more major, the thing that's amazing is that and in 1968, Los Angeles, or the California became the most populous state in the nation. Finally, publications like Time and Newsweek and so forth and so on began to do things. Even New Yorker now does a lot of California articles just for that right. reason. Mm -hmm. Because not only was the largest population, our subscribership in Los Angeles to these publications is greater than the subscribership in New York. That's mm -hmm. just, it's, it's a New Yorker, yeah. New Yorker, yeah. yeah. New Yorker, California. Yeah, California. Right. They do in New York. So, so anyway, these, those Well, they live in New York. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but these things began to happen, but the thing to me that was most disappointing is that after Art Forum came and went rather rapidly, we've never been able to mount a, a serious publication. But let's public. talk about Art, Art Forum. Is that really, yeah. it, at least to my mind, all of the, the local artists that you work with, their careers were made largely in a outside the region by our forum. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, so it's, it's a take. I, did, I never have felt that, but you may be right. Uh, sure. I, I think it's in spite of the dress. dress. Not, but that's interesting. Yeah. It did help, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The main, yeah, the main people that New Yorkers knew were yeah. the people who showed up in our forum. That's right. David Corner. Terribly important. Yeah. Well, yeah. Let's, uh, let's start with, uh, uh, it starts in San Francisco in 62. Yeah. And how much, before it moved to LA, how much of an impact did it have on everyone here? You're right. It had an impact. I can't tell you precisely how much of an impact, but they were focused really a, a great deal on what was going on here in right. Los Angeles. And we made it a kind of mission. I know that I made it a kind of mission to get friendly with Phil Leader, with Phil Leader and John Coburn. Yeah. And did everything I could to uh, it was, you know, assist, assist them. In well, in fact, that. Irving, this is yeah, this relates because uh, at one point, and I would never, I, I must have been conscious of this, but I was talking to a group of people, and they essentially said that you and John set up a cabal. Yeah, is that correct? It's exactly, exactly correct. Exactly. Let's, let's, let's Just talk about that. <laughs> what, what was? Well, trying trying to make it reasonable. For them to consider a move to, to uh, Southern California, and it wasn't so difficult. I mean, they were, they were able to see that 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 it made sense for them to do that. And, and John and I got close early on, and he influenced Phil, and uh, a space opened above the gallery. I want to tell you what uh, value I got out of art form that might surprise you. I was trying uh, in gallery number two to get a little more of an international reputation, uh, thinking ahead, suppose I want to go somewhere else other than New York. And I found that New Yorkers and people in London and Paris were, were reading uh, Art Farm. So I got global publicity from ads I paid for in Art Forum that were like local ads. I mean, quarter pages, 
and uh, I ran uh, I ran an ad every month, and sure enough, I would meet people in New York from uh, England or France, and they'd say, uh, read about your gallery in uh, our forum. So it had an international readership amongst the cognoscenti, and uh, that was uh, I thought it was a great discovery I made because their rates were like a garage sale <laughs> <laughs> by comparison. Right, sure. To it, sure to and it. then, of course, if you advertise, you, you get more reviews, yeah. you get more space. That's right. Yeah. Without asking. Yeah. That's right. Right. No, yeah. but now, But that's what you're, you're so impressed when you go back and read but the quality of the writing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the editing. The editing. The editing. Yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Wonderful. Well, at the more end format, the first Andrew Shane did the design. Yeah, or they have any Yeah, that's something we haven't talked about. Very I didn't much. know that. <laughs> the, the, yeah, well, that beautiful square format that they came up that's with, and then Rouché doing the graphic mm -hmm. design. Huh. That uh, was good. No, it, it for some reason it caught on. To, and I don't know exactly how, but it really was rapid and it was international. There was a moment there in about 1965, 66, 67, when there was a I'd say the first wave of interaction between Europe and Los Angeles, if you will, know, with Alan Jones and yeah. David and all of those I'm people. Sure. Are coming in right now. And our farm, I think, impacted that. Well, let's talk about that because I think that's one of the crucial. The LA artists who made it, more often than not, made it in Europe, rather than, than, course, New, York. Rather than New York, and then came yeah. back. So right. can we Still can talk a little bit about that? I saw yeah. a show in the 60s in Paris, and I think it was done by James Dimitri. Uh -huh. yeah. And it was at the Modern Museum, the old one that they had there. And it had artists from here. Yeah. Yeah. It had, I remember San Francis Here's in Sam. particular. Yeah. But uh, there's another show that Walter told me about that was made also of artists that lived in Paris. Hmm. At a certain time mm -hmm. in the you mean like Al Hell and Yeah, 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 New York, had, which had become the center of the art world, I mean, so it really was, uh, even though there were big collectors in Europe and so on, uh, that unless you moved to New York, yeah. they were never going to accept you. And they just weren't going to accept Sam Francis, they wouldn't Deep accept uh, Ed Ruscha, they wouldn't accept Diebenkorn, they didn't have Eve Klein because he wouldn't spend time there. I mean, people who wouldn't spend time there, and that became a, uh, a uh, badge of honor out here with the artists that they didn't have to go to live in New York. They could make it out here and even though there wasn't a lot of support, right. they were going to stay here. So that's why I'm a little surprised, I guess, when the art form ad started, but it still wasn't an acceptance in New York. I mean, what they tell you in New York about Edward Shea? Oh, he does write books, but his paintings yeah. don't mean anything. No, uh, anyway. So uh, the, the, there was just no acceptance in New York of no, Los Angeles ours unless you moved there. That's why. I just paid yeah. homage. Mm -hmm. and, and I didn't think Art Four made a big. Well, in that way, it's all in there. You thought it was anywhere else. No. Yeah, right. we don't yeah. But it was different in Europe. Europe, Europe oh, right. so New York did not. I was there for 31 years, but I can say that for sure. I mean, that's something that's changed. That's why they don't have a newspaper. Well, but one <laughs> thing too that Andrew mentioned the other day, and that uh, the criticism in terms of the installation of the contemporary art at the moment right now is incredibly weak when it comes to West Coast artists, you know, in terms of the way that's, yeah. that's presented in the hung and what have Well, it's an incredibly weak period when it comes to the present. Yeah, yeah, the second floor, yeah, it's very weak. It's terrible. But that's that's people keep criticizing it, you know. It's, so it's, it's like a, a whipping. Yeah. yeah. Five and four are pretty great, though, I think. Oh, they're great. Yeah. Well, the Bo Bar is doing this big show in LA from 65 to 80. Who is? The Bo Bar. Oh, that's right. We were just there. We gave a party for the artists that are in it. They're all in it. It's a big show. I think it's the fall. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we've been involved. Which one? You have? Yeah, I haven't heard about it. Who's in it? 
It's just that. It's just, it's bubbling. 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 It's bubb
of your belt. That's you become the gurus. Well, we had a lot to get done, but you were very patient with all the gurus. Any more going on? Okay. Yeah. All the yeah. 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 quite a yeah. It's actually a very good court. We even take on corporates for things to do with contemporary art. They've broken the pad in around by the state. Well, they are. Very well. Again, I would have had my We were surprised for you and I to not hear it. All of us, but especially for our thing. Really? Which is that we got in comedy right from the three-minute film that Warhol made this during yeah. the showing of yeah. the yeah. Elvis yeah. Oh, show. Amazing. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. You talk about it. I've never seen 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 it. I've never seen
that you know, system to grow or cronies. And one night at dinner, he says, well, it looks like um, Reagan's going to be president. Mm -hmm. I said, Reagan? Mm -hmm. I said, yes. I said, it'll never happen at all. Mm -hmm. But even then, he was governor. Mm -hmm. He was governor, but there were we a, group, a group mm -hmm. of thinking of him as president. As president. And right. the work has begun. Yeah. And I said, it will never happen. No. Mm -hmm. We couldn't believe How it. wrong you were. How wrong, wrong I was. Well, he he ruined the, uh, uh, the school the system here. Yeah. He ruined the school system. Uh, uh, he, uh, 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 he, he threw the homeless, uh, the mental, uh, the, half the homeless are from the mountains because they're being closed. He threw them on the street. Mm -hmm. Still water. That, of course, happened all over the country. Mm -hmm. I remember in New York, in the 70s. I didn't realize as much. I know it happened here. He I also convinced people to payroll tax, and it's not an income tax. And it's the biggest tax for most people, and so up to $25,000 or so, that's by far the biggest tax. And so they well, cut the income tax, we'll cut the end. They never cut the payroll tax. So the people made $5 an hour, they still pay the payroll tax. Scam to get money without charging richer people and to uh, pretend you're doing a good thing and never call an income tax. You know, it's not an income tax. Hmm. They're good at it. What I don't understand is this desire, it seems, in America to have someone who's your buddy be the, be the president. I mean, in England, you don't want someone who's like a Regular Joe. Yeah. Now I want someone who's definitely not. No, no, here it's the next other you can relate to that. Yeah. That's why Adlai Stevenson could never win. Yeah. The Too aristocratic. Yeah. It's such a mystery. Too intelligent is a bad thing. You know, you don't want to. Well, the problem the problem is that you all live right here in Los Angeles. Like with my roots in Idaho, L.A. is still there for 15 minutes. And not hope, or the whole country is this. So we don't represent the country. Yeah, but Henry, why can't religious people understand that Jesus came back? I think he did, but I know he wouldn't be a Republican. No, he wouldn't be a Republican. So I don't understand that, that kind he would, of... He would probably be a Democrat. Yeah, but it does it just... Probably be a communist. Yeah, there's this yeah. whole... Yeah, feeding the poor, clothing the poor, uh, taking yeah. care of sick people. I mean, where is this... This disconnect between what is morality and what isn't. I mean, it's so weird. What tells them about it? What is the disconnect now? I don't know. Well, there's a certain Protestant strain that really believes that success, of course, is a marker of being the elect of God, of being favored. And I think that that strain has gotten weirdly into this fundamentalist. It must um, have. Wouldn't it the favorite be someone that takes care of people, that did, does what Jesus said and lives his life? I mean, that seems to be so obvious. But that's what they think George Bush is. No, yeah, no, that's, that's exactly right. That's what they, 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 yeah, I mean, the, they, I mean, they share his values. You know who was going to be governor instead of uh, Ronald Reagan? No. Who they had chosen? Franklin Murphy. Well, he would have been a really interesting. Uh, he's a Republican, so I wouldn't have voted for him. Yeah. But he would have been a really interesting president. I think he would. But they were smart enough to realize they had a winner in their hands yeah. to get votes. I mean, I I couldn't believe it that a Ronald Reagan could win. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Franklin Murphy was the one that they were going to choose for governor. That was the choice. Well, so I mean, one well, in twenty years will all be in Iraq. Make some government. <laughs> 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 Or it'll be or, here. Or it'll be here. Right, right, right. No, no, no. One Twenty years from now, and we can eat it. We'll all we'll be wearing so. rubber bands around our head. It will look like Chinese. That's what we'll be doing. That, that, that. You see that Rumsfeld interview last night? And then, no, but I saw. But I listened to the interview with the with soldier troops. Oh, uh, yeah, it's sensational. Yeah, right. What? Uh, an interview with Rumsfeld yesterday? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was he was he was talking to the troops. The question. And, and the questions were absolutely But he good. gave such corporate answers, corporate. boy. Mm -hmm. You go with what you corporate. got. Who, you know, who, who posed the questions? Troops? The troops? Mm -hmm. Kuwait. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't go into the rap. They asked about the, the, the Humvees and why they weren't better protected. Wow. He didn't want the biggest idea what to say. What's a Humvee? 
that, what are these uh, vehicles? No, that's what he would well, say. He would say, what's a Humvee? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I went to see the young steward more than I was at home. They said he was very good like that. Oh, I'm sure, because he gets serious. He's a very smart yeah. guy yeah. and very keen now. Yeah. The gentleman show guy? Most great. Most of the yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Very yeah. Keen yeah. Keen yeah. I missed him. I didn't take Deaths him. Deaths so. and, and uh, injuries to troops are from the inadequate armor. Uh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly right. That was the worst. Yes, they are still not really fixed. No. Okay. Or retrofit. Yeah. We can't retrofit armor clay in the vehicle in the field and have anything that's working. They have to hunt around for metal to use. Yeah. To protect themselves. It wasn't a priority because we yeah, never thought we'd be in Iraq for this long. That's correct. It's very simple. Yeah. That's correct. Go explain that. Yeah, for that excuse. Yeah. When did Leica start, Andrew? Because that was a. 70s. Yeah. Who? That's uh, a sad. The, uh, it was an alternate space that the artist ran. Oh, another part of this project is we project is we've been identifying. It was a Mohendi. It was a Mark Hodges. And they were doing the reserve work. And, and he couldn't work in Lyca. It just is yeah. reference to theirs. Yeah. Real. I mean, white people didn't. I mean, you know, you, know, you, you understand it's a long enough place to store it. Right. right. But it's, Sad, it's one of the sad things about it. Well, there's something called the Iraqi American Theatre. And a dealer could come to town and see when you think how can they do it all about advertising. I did archive. It was great. I found a couple of them. I showed about the archive. Put together Robert Downs and Emily Pinkard. I suppose they get them out of the night when you're talking about something like that. That was the Earth Center. What an idea to have something in the state there when you with this young Sure, I think it's something. Yeah. 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 The children. You know, I, I have. I stepped in the floor. I think you have to do that. I think you have to do that. Our duties are the other thing. California or Bar, Robert Downs. Well, I've seen their bar. I've never seen them ask people that we have. Right, you were doing that. Right. It's just being, you know. They were classic. That's right. You mean a black hole? You mean that? The one? Yeah. I think I have seen a couple of black holes. Well, the demon code approach to that was West Coast approach. I mean, maybe we talk about it more later. It's on the one hand, New York. Why LA was so receptive to pop art, mm. but on the other hand, why the you know in New York, pop brought a whole new breed of collectors, the skulls, yeah, yeah. all the self-made yeah. men. And what's so interesting to me is that LA is full of self-made yeah. men, but they didn't buy. <laughs> right? No, they didn't buy. They Maybe because we were a pop city, it wasn't as yeah. <laughs> big a difference for us. Yeah. Well, I, I can remember one night at the L.A. County Museum, again down in Exhibition Park before we moved, we had uh, Lawrence Alloway and Peter Sells. Do you remember that? Yeah. And uh, obviously Lawrence was promoting pop art and Peter Sells was... Well, was he doing the six... He was doing the six... Was that yeah, during he, the six? When he did the exhibition, it, uh, he did six in New York, and then six more, and uh, Thibault, Ramos, Good, Boucher, Hefferton, Hefferton, and Dow, and Dow. That's it. Okay, mm -hmm. you got it. Very good. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> was that in uh, the Penny County? Was that in the Penny County? Yeah. Yeah. And, and then Walter did the New Penny of Common Objects. Oh, right. That's the dealer. But uh, but that was that was one of the most lively uh, debates. That you would want because Peter Sells hated the idea. Hated, oh, hated, hated, hated it. Hated it. Uh, the way a lot of people did. Yeah, they did. They hated what? Hated pop, pop art. The pop stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you were so crucial man, with Andy's show. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that was a big moment for the internationalism of it because we really had it. Was it the first exhibition? First you, exhibition. you didn't mention anything about David Stewart. So. I wrote the first ah, exhibition. I wrote I the first <laughs> review on that. Stewart Freeman. Never written. Yeah, of your show. That's right, I remember him. Yeah. Art Forum. Yeah. 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 And one thing I think that's really interesting, and I think that that partially has to do with the way the market was out here versus that, I think something other people talk about, the, the interesting conceptual part, Warhol 
His first show is all is the soup can. Yeah. And his second show is just the Elvis. Right. And and the Liz Taylor. And back. And the back. Yeah. Uh, and that <clears throat> that that when he showed in New York with Martha Jackson Miller, he just showed a whole hodgepodge of work. It wasn't that it wasn't to show a series, it wasn't, you know, it was several of different things. And I think that has to do with what they thought they could sell, perhaps, or what well, you have to say. It, it, it had to do with what they thought uh, they could sell, but it also had to do with the fact that they visited the studio, saw what was around, picked one or two things. You know, they, they never had a body of work. Yeah. They, never, they never exhibited a body of work. He had no gallery. But like Andrew said, it was like the they were thinking. Uh, the, only, the only other place he showed a body of work, a kind of consistent body of work, were the unfinished cartoons at the uh, Bronwyn Tellers, mm -hmm. in the window, the window Bronwyn Teller. He knew the guy who did the windows. That's right. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to say, even after like you were... Didn't he work on the windows? I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. But the same guy who did the windows at Bronwyn Tellers did those fabulous little windows at Tiffany's, mm -hmm. very well known. Mm -hmm. 